okay so we are talking about this our previous video finished uh, uh, abruptly for some reason okay so so we have seen that we are plotting the empty message signal so giving the demodulating signal the x axis time and y axis amplitude of the signal and in the second plot we are plotting the carrier signal which is a sinusoidal signal then we are plotting the modulated ASK modulated signal we are plotting all these three okay so let's run this so if we run this program to pass so it is asking me to number of bits so uh, mostly I have discussed for the eight bits so let uh, let I show it for eight bits first then I'll uh, take some other combination as well so I entered the number of bits and uh, soon we are going to see the output so it is okay let's wait okay so we have got the output okay so this is the output and you can see that uh, this is the output that we are getting and uh, it is like we have eight bits okay so on the uh, how we can identify so it is zero to one one bit in one interval there will be one bit okay so the total time interval was uh, 800 interval was there for time so it's zero to eight it has been uh, divided into eight intervals okay and uh, as you know that we have uh, given the equal amount of uh, the message signal okay so that we can see the signal for each time instant there is a definition of a message signal so this is one this interval from zero to one the message signal is one then one to two the message signal is again one two to three the message signal is zero three to four message signal is one four to five the message signal is one five to six the message signal is zero again zero and one okay so whenever the message signal is one the output will be similar to the carrier okay because we are not taking any amplification by the message signal because we have given the amplitude of the message signal as one or zero so when it is one so we will get the same message signal because it is the this modulated signal is the multiplication of the two but when it is zero so the multiplication of the two will be zero so you can see that the output is zero and then again when it is one the output is non-zero same as carrier and then again when it is zero the output is zero otherwise it is one so this is the for eight bits okay so as i told you that if we change the so the, the combination here that we are getting is different one one zero one one zero zero one okay so if i change the number of bits again just to show you okay i keep the number of bits say let's say i'm using 8 bit again so we, due to the random nature we have given here we'll get a different value so 1101010 okay so the it has changed okay so the graph also has changed okay so okay let's say we, we uh, let's uh, check it for some other uh, let's check it for some other value so let's say the six bits. So we are getting this is the a random generation zero one 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 and zero. So this is how the for the six bit. I hope the this is ASK is clear to all of you. Okay, let's move to the FSK. Uh, so FSK is more or less similar to the ASK in terms of the program, but uh, much different in terms of their implementation in practical life. Okay, and uh, in in FSK, what we do, we switch is the frequency. It is the frequency of the carrier based on the message signal. Okay, so uh, most of the definitions are same. So you can see that uh, from the first line, this uh, FC carrier frequency we are taking two. Uh, amplitude 5 b input is same as the previous uh, bs uh, and integer definition we have already discussed all these things i am not defining these things again so all these things are same till now uh, the carrier is defined as similar to the previous 
Okay, then ST we are defining the okay. So only new thing that we uh, we are going to define is the modulated signal. So message signal is defined similar, the carrier signal signal is defined similar, and all those things are similar. So you know that when we talk about the frequency shift keying, so frequency changes, uh, frequency of the carrier changes as per the message signal. Okay, so what we have done that the uh, this is the carrier signal. So carrier signal is two two into pi f c into and this is multiplied with now the empty plus one. Okay, so the this modulated signal frequency will depend on the value of message signal. Okay, this empty. Okay, and uh, now the frequency is now you can say that is scaled by empty plus one. Okay. Okay. So and everything, every other thing is similar. Okay, we are again plotting the three plots: the message signal, the carrier signal, and the FSK modulated signal. Okay, so only difference is in the, in the two plots the difference of the definition of this this curve. Okay, so without delay, we simulate this curve. Let's say, so it is asking how many bits or how many bits you are uh, you want to simulate it. Okay, so let's say again we take the eight bits. So you can check it. So what's the output? So you can see this is the output. So this is message signal one 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 zero one zero. So this is the message signal. This is the carrier signal frequency. Okay. This is the carrier signal in fact. Okay. And now when the um, FSK when we are saying FSK, so you can see that when it is one, the frequency of the carrier has increased by two. You can say. Okay, because when message signal is one, so what is the multiplication here? Uh, when message signal empty is one, so one plus one is equal to two. So two into FC. So the output frequency will be two times of the carrier signal frequency. And if empty is zero, so the output frequency will be same as the carrier frequency. So you can see it here. So it is like two. So in the same amount of time, yeah, or the same amount of uh, same amount of time, we will have. Double number of cycles. Okay, so if we count it, so we can count it. They give us here one, two, three. One time we three peaks get. So if we count it, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, so we are getting a five peaks here. This yes, a uh, double almost. <laughs> okay. Okay, so this is the uh, FSK signal. Okay, so we are getting almost double signal here. Okay, or यहाँ पर देखिए जहाँ पर ये zero MS signal हमारा वहाँ पर same frequency है दोनों की. We are getting the same frequency. Okay, we are getting the same frequency in this interval. Whenever they are one, they are double. Otherwise, they are zero. Okay, I hope uh, there is not much difference. And you know already know the frequency shift keying, so I am not uh, discussing the frequency shift keying. The only thing is that the frequency of the modulated signal is dependent on the message signal and the carrier signal. Okay, so let me show you the phase shift keying as well. Okay, so everything also in the phase shift keying is same. The only difference here is uh, carrier signal is same. Again. The message signal is same, okay, and the carrier signal is uh, modulated signal is same as the amplitude modulation. But there is one difference in uh, definition. It is the definition of BS. Okay, uh, आप ने previous हमने से पहले जो भी देखा, तो हमने BS को rand integer zero से one किया था. उसने zero से one में integer लिए थे. तो उसमें क्या होता है कि carrier signal जब multiply करते हैं, तो उसकी phase पर कोई effect नहीं डालता है. या तो वो से zero करता है, या वो से one करता है. But when we take minus one and one, so what it will do? It will uh, select from minus one or one. Okay. So it will uh, affect the phase as well. Okay. So it will affect the phase as well. So uh, we may have effect on the is agar if you want i can show you let me show you uh, ab minus 1 plus 
comma one comma let's say seven. Okay, so what we will get is one minus one. Okay, so what we are getting now one and minus one. Okay, and zero is also there. So what we can get minus one zero in in these three range of integer, any of the integer may come. Okay, कुछ भी combination उनका आ सकता है. Okay, so यहाँ पर बस एक difference जो आया है हमारा, वो यही आया कि यहाँ पर क्या zero भी आ सकता है, one भी आ सकता है, और minus one भी आ सकता है. और आप जानते हैं जब हम मल्टीप्लाई करेंगे अब हम आते हैं वापस मल्टीप्लीकेशन में अब हम यहाँ पर मल्टीप्लीकेशन करें एलिमेंटल मल्टीप्लीकेशन है आपको पता है ठीक है जब हम यहाँ मल्टीप्लीकेशन करेंगे तो क्या होगा ये देखा जाए तो वैसे ही ए एस के ऐसा लेकिन यहाँ पर क्या है कि एम जो है वो माइनस भी हो सकता है और वन भी हो सकता है और जीरो भी तो अब ये माइनस होगा तो क्या करेगा इवेंचुअली ये सी की जो कैरियर है उसकी फेस को इन्वर्ट कर देगा बाकी होगा सेम सी ऐसा लेकिन इसकी फेज को इन्वर्ट कर देगा फेज रिवर्सल आ जाएगा उसमें ओके सो दैट्स वी आर यूजिंग द फेज शिफ्ट फेज कीइंग फेज शिफ्ट कीइंग ओके सो इफ वी रन इट क्विकली नो नो एक्स्ट्रा थिंग ओके अगेन आई थिंक लेट्स से द एट बिट्स यू कैन चूज एनी बिट्स सो दिस काइंड ऑफ वे फॉर्म वी आर एबल टू सी ओके बिकॉज इट इज पॉसिबल फॉर द मैसेज सिग्नल यू कैन सी द मैसेज सिग्नल इज वन Message signal is zero here, and here it is. Message signal is minus one, then again zero, then one, and then like this. Okay. So all these things are possible. So here, पर देखिए कि message signal or carrier signal, sorry, carrier signal or modulated signal की frequencies phase same होगी क्योंकि दोनों one है. और जब यहाँ message signal zero होगा तो क्या हो जाएगा? ये भी zero हो जाएगा. Multiplication ठीक है. और क्या होगा जब ये नेगेटिव होगी तो यहाँ पर क्या होगा फेज रिवर्सल होगा ठीक है तो यहाँ पर देखिए फेज रिवर्स होकर के जाएगी ठीक है सो दिस इज यहाँ पर भी फेज रिवर्सल होगा और यहाँ पर भी दिस टू पॉइंट्स पर फेज रिवर्सल होगा ठीक है और यहाँ पर ये यह वन है फेज सेम होगा नो रिवर्सल एंड अदरवाइज इट इज जीरो सो आई थिंक दिस ऑल अबाउट द एफ एस के पी एस के एंड ए एस के If you have any doubt, you are free to ask me at any time in personal message or in uh, the group as well. So no problem. So thank you.